What's up guys, Garrett here with Self.Dev. Today we are going to go over how to install Kali Linux on a flash drive and then boot from that flash drive. Now, you are going to need a flash drive for this obviously, preferably with at least 8 gigabytes on it. You can get away with 5. The one I'm using has 32 gigabytes because it's getting so cheap nowadays. Why not? And we are going to be reformatting the flash drive, so if you have anything on it, it will be deleted. Now, let's get to it. We are gonna to go to Kali.org. I will have a link to this in the description if you need that for some reason. And then we'll go to Downloads. And then we'll have this beautiful page here. We want to get the Kali Linux live version. If you have a 32-bit operating system, go for the 32-bit version. Most computers nowadays are 64-bit though, so we're just gonna use this one. Click on that, it'll download. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not gonna do that again. Even though it's not too big, doesn't take too long. Now this page might change in the future. If it looks different than it does now, look in the comment section. I will have a pinned comment telling you which one you should download for this tutorial. If you do the installer, it will try and install Kali Linux on your hard drive instead of on the flash drive. And you might override your operating system. So go with the live version. Once we've got that downloaded, we are gonna go to rufus.ie. Again, I'll have a link to that in the description. And this is a software that will let us write Kali Linux to our flash drive so we can boot from the flash drive. Just go down here, click on Rufus 3.1. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not gonna do that, but that'll download it for you. If you have trouble with these downloads parts, probably don't need to be messing with Kali Linux. Also, if this is your first Linux distro, I'd probably go with something else like Linux Mint or probably Linux Mint actually. It's really easy to install and really nice beginner friendly Linux distribution. But if you're still here, you're going for Kali Linux. Now I've got Kali Linux, the ISO we downloaded and Rufus in a folder already, but you should know where these are on your computer. Um, this would probably be in the downloads folder and this would as well. You'll probably need to install Rufus, but I'm gonna go ahead and run that here. And then this should pop up. This is the Rufus program. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and select your flash drive here. Mine's the 32-bit, 32-bit or 32-gigabyte flash drive I have installed. It's the only one, so I know that that's it. Then under, we're not, we're not gonna skip on the updates for now. All right, then under disk or ISO image, we're gonna click on select. We are gonna go to Kali Linux, the one we downloaded. Now after we've got that, we're gonna click on start. We are gonna click on yes. If you get this, we are gonna click on write in DD image mode. Now, I had a lot of comments about this last time, but this is gonna make it so when Windows sees your flash drive, it thinks it's full, or Windows might not even recognize your flash drive. But we're gonna click okay, saying all the device data will be destroyed. That's okay, we have nothing on it. That's okay, I already had Kali Linux installed, so you probably won't get that error. But now it is going to write the ISO to the flash drive for us. And we will give that a second to work. Now, once that's done, this pops up on the screen. Just for time reference, it took me about five minutes for that to write to the flash drive. Uh, it's gonna vary depending on what kind of computer you have and how fast your hardware is. But this is what you should see in the flash drive when it is done. Don't mess with these, don't mess with them. Now, we are gonna transition to my laptop because I don't want to, I can't really record from this computer while I'm booting and it's not on, so laptop time. So first thing, make sure you have your flash drive with Kali Linux, Kali Linux inserted into the computer. Then we have to get to the advanced options menu. So we are gonna go to the power button, hover over restart, don't click on it. Press shift, then click on restart. If that comes up, click on restart anyway. Scroll up, there we go. And then this will get us to the advanced options menu. If this doesn't work, you might have to repeatedly press F1, F2, F11, or F12 to get to the advanced options menu. If that doesn't work, Google your computer model and how to get to advanced options menu. So I would Google Toshiba how to get to advanced options menu. Do not complain in the comments about, I can't get to the advanced options menu because I'm not gonna help you. I'm not an expert on every computer model. Most new ones, all you have to do is hold down shift to get into it though. Now, after that, we're gonna go to use a device. Now you're probably not gonna have all of these options because I already have a dual booted version of Kali Linux installed and Linux Mint on this computer. But this is my flash drive, the SanDisk flash drive. Here, here we can see 
SanDisk. So we're gonna click on that and that will boot from the flash drive. If you get any errors during this process, look in the description. There is a video on how to disable secure boot mode. That will solve most of the problems. Also, if you want to get back to Windows, all you have to do is turn off the computer, unplug the flash drive, and turn the computer back on, and it will boot to Windows by default. Now, from here, we're gonna click on Live System, and then this will start Kali Linux from our flash drive. So we will give it a second here. That beautiful Dragon logo. And there you have it. You have Kali Linux running on your computer from the flash drive. You got your command prompt. You have all of the pre-installed tools over here. And yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you wanna come join the Discord, there's a link to it in the description where you can come talk tech. And I think that's about it. So I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.